Hello and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. My name is Joey and I am a lifelong Little Mermaid fan. I absolutely loved the original 1989 film and I am excited to see the new live action Little Mermaid film. Even though historically I've not been a massive fan of the Disney live action remakes. I actually made a whole video where I talk about the Disney live action remakes and their associated dolls, which you can check out here. I'll put a link in the description and on the screen. But I am quietly optimistic about this new Little Mermaid remake. I think the computer animation looks kind of rubbish, I will say that, but Halle Bailey is an amazing singer, a great performer, and I think she's gonna do a really good job as Ariel. And I'm super excited to own dolls of Halle Bailey. Today we have not one, but two Little Mermaid dolls from the new live action remake, which we are going to open today. We have the Mattel Ariel doll, and we have the Ariel doll from the Disney store. We are going to look at these dolls and compare and contrast them. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy Disney and dolls as much as I do. And also let me know in the comments if you are excited to see the new Little Mermaid film and purchase some of the Little Mermaid dolls. First of all, let's look at the packaging. This is the Mattel doll, and I really like the colour scheme. It's very tropical. You can see down here they've printed onto the box Sebastian and Flounder, and I have to say, I think both of them look a little bit too photorealistic to me. It looks kind of creepy, but, you know, it is what it is. And there is a picture of the doll on the back of the box here, and she looks really beautiful, and lots and lots of product information. And here is the Disney Store box. I really like this box. I think she's really beautifully displayed in here. The colour scheme and the theming is pretty much exactly the same to the other box. Up here it says, I can sing, because she can sing, which is great. On the back they even have a Try Me button, and I'm really glad that the Disney Store boxes aren't doing that, like, super minimalistic design they used to do. It just didn't feel very Disney to me. It felt more like, I don't know, like an Apple product. Okay, now we've had a look at the boxes, we're going to take them out of the box and have a closer look at the dolls. Okay, they are both out of their boxes, and wow, these, both of them are pretty stunning. Unfortunately, as is pretty much expected these days, the Mattel doll isn't that great a quality, especially for the price. This doll was £20. But there are actually some really nice elements about this doll. I was pleasantly surprised, to be honest. I absolutely love the Disney Store doll, although there are a couple things I don't like about her. So this review is definitely going to have some twists and turns, but let's start with the Mattel doll first of all. Now this doll was extremely popular on its release. Halle Bailey even posted a TikTok holding the doll, which was really cool. And I have to say, I really like this doll's face sculpt. I think it's really stunning. And that is probably one of the few areas where I think this doll beats the other doll. Her face sculpt is so much better than this doll. Uh, it, it is. It's so much better. Mattel always does a really good job with face sculpts and plastic mouldings, definitely. The other thing I was pleasantly surprised about with this doll is her hair. I absolutely love it. I thought that these braided bits would be really coarse, but they're actually incredibly soft and movable. All the hair is incredibly soft. And that really surprised me, because Mattel notoriously uses quite cheap materials. Now, one thing about this doll that I was really disappointed about is the lack of articulation. She only has four points of articulation, the neck, the shoulders, and at the waist. Some Mattel dolls also have a bend in the knees, but this one does, well, not knees, but you know, whatever this part of a fish would be called. Yeah, they normally have a bend in the knees, but this one doesn't. And some of the other versions also have material fins, but this one doesn't. And some of them even have material bikini tops, but this one doesn't. This is like very much a basic, basic, basic doll. Which is why I was a bit confused when it was £20. I feel like that's a little bit expensive for what is basically just a Fairytopia mermaid. But like I say, the hair's really nice quality. I do like all these painted on details. They are nice. The tail surprised me, actually. I really like this sparkly see-through plastic they've used. In general, I don't like the design of the tail in the movie. I think it looks like Again, like, creepily realistic to what a fish's tail looks like. Like, these veins on it. Don't like that. 
I wish it looked a little bit more like the original movie, and I don't like these side fins either. I don't know why, they just make me uncomfortable. Um, but other than that, I do like the design and I like the colours used, especially the colours are really nice. It is a shame that the design on the tail doesn't carry round into the back. I hate it when they do that, absolutely hate it. It looks so cheap. Like, there's just like a straight line here where they've decided to give up on this doll. Rubbish! Like, just paint the back as well! Gosh. The bikini top, uh, which has scales on it, I feel like it's maybe meant to be like part of her body, which is interesting. Um, again, not removable. But you know, it looks fine. It looks fine. Like I said, I think highlights of this doll for me are the hair and the face sculpt. And she looks enough like Halle Bailey, which is great. Okay, next up we have the Disney Store doll. I really like this doll. I, I don't know which one I like more, I'll have to tell you at the end. Now, the first thing I noticed about this doll is the face sculpt, and... It could be better. It could be better. Okay, so the face sculpt isn't quite as bad as the live-action Belle doll from the Disney Store. Gosh, that was a whole disaster, which I cover in my previous video, but anyway. But there are some things that still don't look quite right about it. Um, her eyes look a little bit too small for Halle Bailey, and her nose doesn't look quite right, but I think overall it's fine. Like, she still looks pretty, she just doesn't look like Halle Bailey, I don't think. Um, the other thing that I don't like about this doll is her head is really loose. And, like, that annoys me. Like, why is her head so loose? Anyway, uh, the hair. I actually think the Mattel doll has nicer hair, which is unusual. This hair, like, doesn't have great movement. The braided bits are quite coarse, but it's still good. It's still good. It definitely could be worse. Um, it just feels kind of dry. I feel like the other doll has nicer hair. It just looks a little bit more, like, soft. Anyway. Now, a great feature on this doll is the articulation. She has so many different points of articulation. She even has an extra joint in the knee, so she can bend her knees all the way back. Which is brilliant, I love that. And she has articulation in the feet or ankle area. <laughs> I mean, she's a mermaid at the moment, so she doesn't have knees or ankles, but you get the idea. This doll also sings when you click a button on her back, which is great. She sings a clip from the movie, and, uh, Halle Bailey's singing voice. Perfection. Perfection. She's a great singer. I'm not gonna play the clip for you right now, because I will have Mickey Mouse knocking down my door, I'll have Disney lawyers diving in through the windows, and I don't have to deal with that right now. I need this video to be monetizable. <laughs> Now, I think my favourite part of this doll is the material, tail, and bikini top. Removable fashion and different textiles is such a great part of doll collecting, so I'm really glad they went the extra mile and, you know, created removable fashions. I love the shiny iridescent tail. Her fins are really nice, like the material is incredibly soft and very floaty. I bet it would move great in the water. Unfortunately, you can't put this doll in the water because she sings. And she has these fins going down the back of her tail, which I don't love. You know how I feel about these fins. I'm not a big fan of those fins. But other than that, really, really stunning tail. And this doll actually comes with a whole second outfit, which I'm going to change her into right now. And here she is in her second outfit, and I have to say, I absolutely love her in this outfit. I think this is going to be the outfit she wears when they sing Kiss the Girl which is a great scene. She has her cute little headband, which is holding her hair out of her face. All the material used is really soft and floaty and movable, which is lovely, I love that. Unfortunately, it's fraying a little bit around the top, but that's fine. She has these really cute high-heeled boots on, which I absolutely love, and they even have little shells right at the bottom of the laces there, which such an amazing, cute little detail, I love that. This is an adorable outfit, but of course, I prefer her as a mermaid. Who wouldn't? <laughs> so there we have it, doll fans. I spoke about these two beautiful new live-action Little Mermaid Ariel dolls. This one from the Disney Store, this one from Mattel, and they're stunning. They're stunning. I think they both have a lot of pros and cons, so it's really up to you which one you want to get. I'm actually leaning towards this one as my favourite, just because I love her hair. 
Yeah, I think this one might be my favourite. No, no, it, it can't be. I, I like this one. I just love removable fashions, so I think I'm going to choose the Disney Store one. But this one is a close second. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and check out some more of my videos. And also check me out on Instagram and TikTok, and I will see you real soon, doll fans. Bye! <laughs>